Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to another video. So I have not used Morphe in a hot minute now, um, but I do have the new um, Meredith Duxbury collection as well as I got this. This is their continuous prep and set mist. And this was like a $50 bundle. It's supposed to be over $100 worth of value. But basically, it's like almost an entire routine. So this is a foaming face primer. And then we have a little spoolie. And then we also have the, um, what is this? Face and, face and lip gloss. That's interesting. Okay, so this will start. I have never used a foaming primer before. So that's going to be interesting. It doesn't really have much of a smell. It smells kind of sweet, though. Let me know if you guys have heard of her. Um, I have heard of her because she was really big into doing on TikTok, like, lip syncing videos of her doing her makeup. But she would do, like, gobs and gobs of foundation. That's the only reason why I know of her. But, yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys, that is crazy. You guys know how I am, so I think we have to do the double dip. But I almost want to like swatch everything too. Although Private Party looks really good as well. Prosecco on tap. I think we got to do the double dip. Just because I love the two-tone. Ooh. I love a good shimmer moment. That is really pretty. I have like more hooded eyes though, so it's kind of harder to see. But let's see what private party looks like. Okay, my phone is not doing this justice. The glitter shimmer moment is even prettier up close. I am obsessed. Yeah, that, that is so stunning. Oh my goodness. So we're going to go ahead and swatch a couple of the other shades. So this one's called PDA. Rosé. Dipping Gold. Those are really pretty. And then from this palette, let's see if I have any fingers left. Um, Prosecco on tap. Yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about this. Um, what, what is this? Like the... Oh, this is the brow. I have really thick brows, so my brows are going to look um, very... They never really look good, is what I'm going to say, but. Oh, wow. This actually makes my brows look darker this way. I kind of like it. They look, they look really, really dark this way. They look really strong, really dark. I'm not used to them looking this dark, actually. And then we're going to go ahead and finish with the gloss. I might have put too much on. Here's the finished look. Overall, first impression wise, obviously the eyeshadow is the star of the show, but I think it came out good. 